clinical trials for treatment studies. Now, the most common question I get is, Dr. Chu, what's the difference between Alzheimer's disease and dementia? Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia. Uh, what is dementia? Dementia means, D means a decline in mental abilities, dementia. Uh, out of mind, that's okay. Uh, D mind, if you think of, dementia means a decline of mental abilities. Um, there are other causes of that, depression, and uh, something called delirium, uh, where some of the other systems of the body that support the brain, I'm very neurologic centric, I'm very brain centric. So if there's uh, kidney failure or liver failure or pulmonary failure, then you may have a, we may experience a buildup of the toxins, if the kidneys aren't working or the liver's not working, or if the lungs are not working, not a good oxygen, and the brain cells will falter, and that can cause a confusional state, which we call delirium. So not everything about change in mental abilities is a dementia. So dementia is a stage as well. It means it's a stage of severity where uh, the decline affects one's everyday living abilities. Um, mild cognitive impairment means that there's a decline, but it's not so severe, so we call it mild, uh, and people can usually compensate uh, because it's mild. So with Alzheimer's disease, uh, we have a dementia phase, and as we go earlier in time, there's a mild cognitive impairment stage, and then we have come to understand that there is a preclinical, pre-symptomatic stage where there are changes taking place physically in the brain but the, the person is compensating fine and there's no sign of it. We can see those changes with some of our uh, PET scans now, amyloid uh, PET scans. So here again is a, a study, an observational study. It's called the atherosclerosis uh, risk in community study where they followed people um, uh, for 25 years, uh, beginning here in 19, um, 85 and then up to recently around uh, 2012, uh, 13, follow people um, over time and see who gets dementia and what kinds of risk factors uh, are associated with getting dementia. And the first most important one was just time, age. Uh, every five years, the risk of dementia doubles. Uh, the second most common cause was this apolipoprotein E4 gene, ApoE4, and having one of those genes, uh, one of, of uh, the pair, uh, increases the risk of dementia twice. Diabetes, uh, it increases the risk uh, 1.8 times. High blood pressure, 1.4 times. And actually having limited education uh, also increases the risk for dementia. So uh, coming to seminars like this is a great educational activity. Um, we're not really necessarily dividing our neurons, but we are certainly multiplying synapses, which are our connecting points. Those, those are very plastic and changing all the time as you exercise, uh, physically or mentally or spiritually. Uh, the synapses are changing um, all the time. Alzheimer's is a German name. Um, he was a German neurologist, psychiatrist, and in 1907 at a, at a conference